Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us in today's Twinkle Tips Friday video. And today is a get ready for the next few weeks. Some of you may know I have a new home that I am in the process of trying to decorate for the first time. And it's actually kind of stressful. It's like I'm a beginner all over again, but I know this stuff. So you think it'd be easy, but there's so many things in X Lights that have changed over the years. So what I want to do is take you on this journey of kind of getting set up for a brand new show. Why don't you come along with me? We'll go on this little journey together and we're going to go ahead and get started right now. So let's go ahead and get started. We're on the controller tab right now. And what I want you to notice is, is that we have this button that's called add ethernet. Now the button could also be called the add controller button, but in the case that you're adding something that isn't exactly a controller, uh, this, is a, this is a way to add some sort of adapter that uh, works with the ethernet on your um, show system. So we're gonna go ahead and click this one time. There's three controllers that I'm going to add from my show from last year or from my previous years into my new layout. And this is how I'm going to do it. Now, the first controller that I have here is I'm gonna give this the name E682. Yes, I know a SAN device is an old controller, but it still does the job. And the nice thing is, is that here's what you can do with Xlights. You can write a description. What I generally like to do with the description is I, I like to put in there the location that this is gonna be in in my show or major props that are gonna be connected to it. In, in my case, I used the 682 to run my Snowflake. It's five volt. It had 100 pixels per output, and I used six outputs to run the Snowflake because it was 600 pixels. And then I also connected up my arches to it. So those were 100 pixels a piece uh, per arch uh, or a couple arches, I guess. And I can give it the description of, let's say, Snowflake. This is my eight foot, eight foot Snowflake. So if I put that in there, that gives me a descriptor of what this controller is used for or where I can look for it on my show. Next, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and assign a vendor. Now, um, vendors are not all located in the Xlite software. Uh, most of the popular controllers are going to be found in here. So let's go ahead and choose the vendor for this. Now we have a, um, uh, this is a SAN device. So we'll go down here, look for SAN device. And now we'll, we see we have another box that says model. We'll go ahead and click on the model. And I know that my controller happens to be an E682. The last thing it says is a variant. Well, the variant is, is what firmware that controller has. Now, this isn't the case for every one of these controllers, and this is why we're doing a couple of them, because all controllers are different. So my variant happens to have the 5.x firmware on it, so I'm gonna make that selection. Now let's go ahead down. This controller needs an IP address. I know that my controller IP address number is gonna be 192.168.1.110. I'll go ahead and click on the next, uh, next line here it says protocol i'm going to use this as an e131 controller now most controllers are going to be e131 next we have uh priority i'm just going to leave priority as 100 and the rest of these i'm really going to just leave these as default so we're going to go ahead and add in another add ethernet i have a uh, falcon f16 v3 let's go ahead and add it i'm going to give it a name falcon the description I can give it, this is probably going to be for my mega tree. So usually that's what I use it for and the ground lights and stuff like that. Usually ground props and stuff I'll throw on there. Um, now the vendor, obviously if F16 V3 is by Falcon and the model is going to be an F16 V3. Now we have a couple variants. Now remember the variant on the uh, E682 was a firmware. And in this instance, it says variant, no expansion boards. Well, my Falcon F16 V3 happens to have two expansion boards. And so what I'll do is I'll come down here where it says two expansion boards and I'll select that. I'm going to go ahead, leave everything else as default and I'm going to give my Falcon F16 V3 the IP address of 192.168.1.50. Let's go ahead and add our third controller in. And I'm adding these controllers in knowing that not everybody has these, but some of you may. And I just want you to know that the, the functionality of adding these in is pretty simple. It's straightforward and getting set up can be very, very simple. So let's go ahead and add in our Pixlite 16. 
I know how many people are going to say they have a Pixlite 16. Well, I, I will. Let's go with vendor. Oh, description. Aw, oh, heck, we're going to have it run a matrix. And the vendor is going to be an Advitech because that's who makes our Pixlite 16s. The model is going to be a Pixlite 16 in general. And it says variant is normal or expanded. Mine's normal. Mine's a 16 output controller. I'm going to leave this as the auto size. And then I'm going to come down here to my IP address and I'm going to fill it in with 192.168.1.100. It looks like my controllers are pretty much set up for the basic show that I want to put together as we start going through this. And that's everything from me today, guys. Thank you for joining me. If you, ha if you have questions about this specific subject, if I didn't hit on something, put comments down below and maybe I can hitch up uh, in a couple weeks with a, with a follow-up video. I I'm going to be at Expo next week, so I won't be here. Uh, but if you have any comments, put them down in the comment section down below. There's more than one way to skin a cat. I'm just showing you one basic way to get started with putting a controller in X lights. There may be other ways depending on the controller that you have, but I just wanted to get you started. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. By all means, hit the big black subscribe button to follow all the content because there's, again, there's gonna be a lot more coming up over the next few weeks. If you're working on setting up your layout and this is really overwhelming for you, then by all means, why don't you send us a message at info at pixelprodisplays.com. Consider reaching out to us. One of the things that we do here at Pixel Pro Displays is we build your layout for you. Not only that, but we can also set up your layout and help you plan the items that you're going to need in order to build your show. Look at the link down below and see some of the options that we have available as far as services to help you get your 2023 show up and running. Guys, that's everything for me. Thank you for joining us here on Twinkle Tips Friday. We will see you next week. Same time, same channel. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.